Hi guys, welcome back to the shop. Uh, today's project is we're going to make a little present for my wife. We're going to make a seed box for her gardening, for, her, for the greenhouse there. And we're going to make it from this lovely pallet that my mate Dan in work found for me today. Uh, so this is the pallet, as you can see, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's solid mahogany. Um, it's got these um, finger joints, feather joints, um, making up a couple of the boards. But we can get past that and we can make a nice sizable box. Um, so anyway, it's going to be a fairly simple project, but I hope you enjoy it, and uh, I'll see you guys later on. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to mitre these edges now as close to the edge as possible. You can see the line here and I can put the edge in the middle of that so it should come through. And then once I've done one edge on each one I can then set a, um, a depth stop over here and I can get the others and I can cut them down to the right length then that's the plan. You can see the burn in there on the edge, and it did start to lift. Why? Because I wasn't holding it properly. Uh, so I'll need to do something about that for the next cut. So I know what I'm going to do. So as you can see, I've clamped a piece of wood over the top of the workpiece to stop it from lifting. Um, if anyone has seen my previous videos, you'll know I'm absolutely terrified of doing mitre cuts. I hate doing these things, but I really want to do it on these ones. Um, so that's why I bought, made this mitre sled. So hopefully now with this piece of wood on and this handle, and it's actually given me a, a, a firmer grip, um, I'm hoping that we should get a better cut on this one. So let's try that. blade has stopped, pull that safely back through now and I got a lot less burning that time because I was a bit more control with the cut so using this definitely helps, I recommend people do that. Anyway moving on we've got this piece of plywood here which we're going to use as the base which means that we need to put um, a groove in the bottom of our boards to take those, so I've got the blade hat set, the blade height set and I'm going to run all the boards through now, I've got the table fence set and we'll make a cut for each board and then we'll test the fit and then we'll move the fence over a little bit and we'll run through again and then we'll test the fit until we get a nice snug fit for that but not too snug so we'll do those now So what I'm going to do is I've laid these down flat on here with the groove at the top and I'm just going to put some painters tape or masking tape on the back of these joints and we'll flip it over, put some glue in, wrap it up and then we'll use the bank clamp to hold it in place overnight with a bit more masking tape to pull everything nice and tight.
That'll do. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mark the box uh, width and then we'll cut it to its, its length and then we'll mark our points for our hinges to go. So I'm just going to lay the box down. Now there's a crack running through this board here, it sort of stops here, so I'm going to keep it as far over here as I can. I'm simply just going to lay the box on top. Make a mark there, and make a mark there. Okay, so we've given a little bit of a sanding and we've got it on our hinges and what we're going to do now is I deliberately left this long there's a little lip on the front of that and what we're going to do now is I'm going to take the, bill, the box lid down to the side nice and tight What I'm going to do now is I'm going to get a flush trim bit on the router and we'll trim that down now flat with the front of that box. clips are a little bit fiddly. I've done one on one side there. Didn't really I'll do this one. Um, I'll set my space. And then I'm gonna drill with a point on to make a mark. These screws are annoying.
should have done that before for the first part of the clasp. There you go. Much easier. So we're ready for finishing. Um, the finish that Lydia's decided to go for is beeswax. I have some beeswax here. Uh, natural creamy beeswax. It's a, a brown paste. You can see there. Um, but she likes the smell, she says, which is good because it's going to stink. Um, so we'll uh, a couple of clean cloths and we'll see how we go. So that's it guys, thanks very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, the box went together fairly well, I was really pleased with it, there was just one edge uh, that didn't, uh, the mitis didn't um, come together very well, so you could see me rolling that over with the edge of a, um, a screwdriver. Apart from that, I'm very pleased with it. Um, considering the game off a pallet, it looks lovely. It's been a couple of days since I finished it now, and the smell is more or less gone from the beeswax, because it's a really powerful smell. Um, and the finish is lovely on it, so I hope this will bring um, lots of joy in days to come. So anyway, thanks very much for watching, guys. Uh, big thanks to Jan uh, for the for the pallet. Um, I really appreciate it, mate, and uh, have a good week in work. I'm off this week, so that's happy days. Uh, and I will see you guys soon, and, and uh, yeah, see you again. Take care. Bye.